in this lesson, I'm just going to talk about a couple of ways to use tritone substitutions on a blues in E. If you want to download the tab of what I just played, you can go to the link below or the link on screen to sign up for my newsletter and download the tab from this lesson and also from a lot of other lessons from here on my YouTube channel. So what's going on here? In order to use tritone substitutions, you need to know two things. One, what is a tritone? And two, uh, how can you put extra dominant chords or extra five chords into a chord progression where they don't already exist? So let's take that second one first. And it's the idea that in a key like E, the five chord is what takes you back to the one. So B7 wants to resolve to E. That's a five one relationship. But you're not limited to just the five chord of the key. For instance, if you're on a blues in E and you're on your way to A, well, it turns out that if you think of A just for a moment as the one chord, well, what's the five chord in the key of A? Oh, it's E. So there are moments in the E blues when E is, yeah, it's the one chord, but it's acting like a five chord that's gonna to resolve to A, to the four chord. Just by the nature of the fact that you're on E and you're on your way to an A chord, we hear this E, say in the fourth measure of a blues, as being the five chord of A, or leading you by a kind of dominant function from E into A, into the four chord. And then, when you're on the five chord, um, nothing says that you can't borrow a chord that doesn't exist in the key. Like we've already talked about how B, which exists in the key of E, is the five of E, and how E is functioning as a five when we're on our way to A. But those chords already exist in the key of A, in the key of E. But here, uh, on our way to the B7, we could say, well, what's the five of B7? And the five of B7 is F sharp. So we could borrow an F sharp seven and go, oh, well, that's the five of B. So we could set up the B7 by starting off with an F sharp and then playing B7 and coming back home to one. Now also I should back up and just say, well, technically E7 is not part of the key of E major, but when you're playing a blues, these things start to get a little blurrier. But so we've got E taking us to A, <clears throat> we've got B7 taking us to E, and now we've got F sharp taking us to B. And so as far as borrowing chords goes, you could keep this process going. Like, okay, here's B and F sharp is the five of B. We could say, well, what's the five of F sharp? And it's C sharp. So yeah, you could have C sharp taking you to F sharp, the five of F sharp. F sharp taking you to B, B taking you to E. And you could even take that even further and say, well, what's the five of C sharp? Well, it's F sharp, so, I'm sorry, G sharp. So we could have G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, B, E. And so, last stop, we could say, well, what's the five of G sharp, well, it's D sharp or E flat, but we'll call it D sharp. So everything's in a sharp key. So this is the five of this, which 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 is the five of this. That will all be more relevant in just a moment. Now let's look at what a tritone is. So a tritone itself is just an interval. And you can think of it as a half step bigger than a fourth or a half step smaller than a fifth. So if E to B is a fifth, then a tritone is E to B flat. The name tritone, tri, three, tone, whole tones, so three whole tones, or three whole steps, will take you from your starting note to, the, to your tritone. And so it's just kind of easy to see them on the guitar being that kind of shape. So a tritone substitution means to be on a dominant chord and to substitute in 
another dominant chord whose root is a tritone away. So in the case of E, we'd go up to B flat. And so B flat would be the tritone substitution for E. And what's interesting about it is that if you look at this E7 voicing, say, with its root and third and flat seven, and then you look at B flat with the root of tritone away, you notice that they share these two notes, which also themselves make up a tritone. So the third and flat seven of E and the flat seven and third of B flat form a tritone. So that's why both chords are able to serve the same function because they both hold these two important notes of the chord. So we can swap in B flat when we're on our, if we're thinking of E, say uh, at the end of the first bar or at the end of the first line as taking us to A, serving as the five of A, then that means we can swap in B flat as a tritone substitution for E. And it will also take us to A. So. And that'll happen again at the end of the line when we want to get to A in bar four. And if we're sitting on A, we can throw in the five of A, which would be E, which is not something you usually see in, you know, sort of modern blues or blues rock. But if you go back and listen to, you know, blues as played by jazz musicians in the 20s, you hear this all the time, that if they're on a chord, they'll be bouncing back and forth between the chord itself and its five chord. It's a way of killing time and creating more motion. Um, and we're basically just saying, well, here's A, and here is the five of A, which wants to come back to A. So we can swap in, if we say, well, we can do that, we can go from E, uh, from A7 to E7 back to A7 in bars five and six. Then we can put in the tritone substitution for E, which is still B flat. And so here I'm playing it with a 13 on top. And so those are all the ways that that tritone substitution for E can play out as far as taking us to A and also giving us something to vamp on or go back and forth between when we're on A. Now, back on E, same idea applies. If we're on our way to E, we might pass through the five chord to strengthen that move. Even if we're in you know, bar six of the blues, Could play the five to emphasize the fact that you're going back to one. And if you could, then you could also play the tritone substitution for that five chord, which if you're on a B and you want the tritone substitution for B7, that would be F7. So we're on A. Then going to F7 will take us into E, it'll resolve. And also, when we're just sitting on E, we can also vamp between E and F because that's like vamping between one and five. So if we're coming back from, if we do the first four bars, we're just going between one and would be five, but now it's tritone substitution for five. And then B flat gets us into the A chord, rocking between A and its five, E, but with a tritone substitution of B flat. And now, as if we were passing through the five to get back to one, but using the tritone sub of that, here's F. And that takes us all the way up to the beginnings of the turnaround. So in more of a Chicago blues or a blues rock kind of blues, 
in bar nine, you just go to the five chord and then down to the four chord and then down around a one. But in more of a swing or a jazz blues, you would start the last line in bar nine with a two chord, often a minor two chord, like a F sharp minor here in the key of E, taking you to B7 and then around. But in the bebop version of the blues, even that gets anticipated with a C sharp. So you're going along, you've played your four chord, you've come back around, you come into measure seven with the one chord, and then measure eight is where you play C sharp seven, because that's the five of the two. So this is kind of what we're aiming for at the moment when we start to do this. And if we work backwards from that, we say, okay, well, this is here because it's the five of the two chord, which occurs in the key. There isn't an F sharp minor chord in the key of E. So we're aiming for that. We're like, how can we set up this C sharp? And so we start to think about these uh, dominant chords and then their tritone substitution. So the five of C sharp is G sharp. And the five of G sharp is D sharp. So when we're here, and we go here, you can just, I mean, if you just listen, you're like, oh yeah, that sounds great to kind of slide down chromatically like that. But there is actually a reason why it works. Not that sounding good isn't a good enough reason, but if you like to get under the hood and find out why, this is the reason. So this is here because it would take you to here. This as the five of this as the five of this as the five of this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, okay, well, we know we're going somewhere with this, but instead of going to F sharp, we're gonna play the, oh, sorry, G sharp. We're gonna play the tritone substitution of G sharp, which is D. So that lets us go from here to here. And then, because we know this is a tritone substitution for G sharp, we know that this is gonna to resolve to whatever G sharp is the five of, which is C sharp. So instead of hearing this, we hear this. And so starting from E at the top of bar seven, we have And that gets us to the beginning of bar nine. And so Even though we're supposed to be playing F sharp minor, we can play this F sharp seven with a cool flat nine on top because that's the secondary dominant or the chord that will lead you to B seven. It's the five of B seven. And then we can go, so we can go from F sharp to B seven. But then we can play C7 because if we can place F sharp to B, we can play whatever the tritone substitution of F sharp is, which is C. So when we're on B7, instead of saying, oh yeah, five of the five a second time, we can say, oh yeah, tritone substitution for five of the five, and then back to the five, and then home. So that's how we justify all of that. And then this is the five of B, this is the tritone sub for F sharp to B to here. And then this, at the very end, is yet more tritone substitutions because instead of thinking one, six, two, five, which is five of five of five of one, we think, okay, here's E. Now, instead of C-sharp, we'll play the tritone sub of C-sharp, which is G. Then, yeah, we'll go to the F-sharp like we're supposed to, because this is the five of this. C-sharp is the five of F-sharp, therefore G is, works as the five of F-sharp. And then that should take us to B7, but instead we'll play the tritone substitution of B7, which is F. So that gives us E, Tritone substitution for the six chord, two chord of, or the five chord of B7, but then the tritone substitution for B7 and back home. So.
Okay, that's a lot of notes. So again, if you wanna download the tab for the opening example, go to the link below or the link on screen. If you've got a question or a comment, leave it in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.